This is Jay Randall Wilkerson, editor at Wilkerson and Hughes Publishing. The next series is our house design competitions. This is book one drawings of a 19 book series. During the early part of the 20th century up to 1930, there were uh, competitions to design smaller houses than had been done before because of rising house prices. Uh, many of these competitions paid extremely high prize money, so architects of all calibers and the very best in the United States would enter. These house competition books were uh, printed only in small numbers on rotor gravier copper plate presses, so the line drawings that were used were transferred as solid line drawings rather than half tones as they are today. That made for extremely rich, accurate uh, drawings uh, done originally in pen and ink on a Bristol board sheet of about 20 by 30 inches. We have scanned at the highest possible resolution most of these books um, and have re-edited all of the text in order to bring them to the public, many of whom have never seen them. Uh, in the case of designs for houses built of Indiana limestone from book two, there are only three copies, actual physical copies, in existence at all the libraries worldwide. Uh, the Indiana Limestone Association started this competition to have these architects design a limestone faced house. That is, it's like a brick house but made of Indiana limestone. And the size of the house was set at 1,300 square feet on a lot 100 feet wide and 150 feet deep. So the homes that you will see in this book as a preview are, by today's standards, quite small, and yet you probably will not believe it once you begin to see them. In this competition, there are styles such as colonial, French, English. This is the uh, first prize design was actually a modern home. And they allowed two drawings per entry. Most competitions were a single drawing, but in this one they allowed an extra drawing for details as well as elevations. The main sheet would have the perspective rendering as well as floor plans and site plan. So as I flip through fairly quickly, you'll see these drawings are extremely high quality, among the very best ever done. Um, the books have been uh, regenerated through a computer and hand process that makes the lines sharp, razor sharp, in fact. And keep in mind these sheets were originally uh, almost 300% larger. But um, when you see the books, it will be a work of art. You could actually frame these drawings and uh, not be ashamed of them because they are such beautiful works of art. Um, <clears throat> one of the homes in here is by a well-known architect, uh, this one. It's a prairie-style house. Number 55 is the entry. It received the sixth mentioned design, and the entrant is listed as Russell Barr Williamson. Russell Barr Williamson was uh, actually the drafting superintendent for Frank Lloyd Wright, and as you can see, the perspective is very uh, reminiscent of one of the other draftsmen in Frank Lloyd Wright's studio, uh, Marion Mahoney, who later uh, married Walter Burley Griffin. So uh, it appears to be an entry by Frank Lloyd Wright because if you look where I'm pointing, there's a graphic symbol that is Frank Lloyd Wright's personal signature. During this time period, and also in the detail sheet, uh, architects always included a graphic symbol, and when I was trained as an architect um, through the studio system, uh, we were all instructed to develop our own type fonts and styles of lettering and our own north arrows. Everything had to be personalized and custom. So when you see a graphic signature that's only from Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, hand, although his draftsman may have executed the final drawing, you know who it came from. Now at this time, Frank Lloyd Wright could not publicly use his name for entries because he had run off with a client's wife and abandoned his family. So in general, the architectural community didn't want to have anything to do with him. He was um, ostracized. 
Uh, these home designs, uh, we'll repeat, are 1,300 square feet, uh, roughly three bedroom to four bedroom homes, and yet you would think these are mansions. I mean, look at the styling. It's all a question of style in architecture. It's not a question of huge space, as in many modern homes today. Uh, you can see that all of these homes could be done in brick or actually stucco on the block uh, to simulate brick. They don't have to be done in limestone anymore. Uh, still would have the same effect. So uh, this competition is one of the smaller ones, but actually uh, probably the highest quality of all of the house design competitions. This book is $9.95, available from Amazon.com, as well as eBay, uh, plus shipping. It's ISBN code 978-1926-517-643. It contains 39 drawings and 51 pages. I hope you enjoyed this view. If you uh, like this uh, video, please click on the like button so that we get more views to it. Thank you for watching.